since it's the first time this year uh, that we will be getting ourselves into a heat wave. Here is the forecast for Columbia. We're looking at the heat index here on the screen. So this is a few degrees warmer than the actual air temperature when we factor in things like dew points. As we head into your Memorial Day weekend, we're going to be at or over uh, that triple digit mark there. Uh, here is Charleston, actually, and we're going to be a very similar story here. Talking to Jared yesterday, he was trying to understand exactly how that sea breeze would interact. This isn't even just a South Carolina story. Here it is in Raleigh, up in the uh, upper 90s, uh, as again, we will be dealing with very warm conditions, and we'll have it playing out here in the Charlotte area as well, too, where, Scotty, you guys will be at the uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's that big Memorial Day race. How are you guys preparing for this? I've been providing forecasts for last week and this week. And honestly, the story's been heat. Um, there is an isolated chance of a pop-up shower storm. But uh, in those efforts, um, Charlotte Motor Speedway has contacted their sister uh, racetracks at Bristol Motor Speedway and Atlanta Motor Speedway. Uh, they are bringing in some cooling units. Uh, these are kind of those mister sprayers that you may see at a – uh, Carowinds or an amusement park, uh, Disney World, something like that. Uh, they're bringing in some cooling tents as well. Uh, the Speedway is really taking uh, this uh, threat of heat seriously, and I think uh, everything's going to be covered. But our our plea to folks who are coming out is please uh, drink your water, stay hydrated. Jay Gibson, you're a big fan of water sports. I'm sure you'll be down at the beach this weekend. Anyone watching from the Outer Banks through Charleston, what do you guys do in a situation like this? It looks like Saturday could get muggy, so your heat indices, we have to keep that in mind because we have humidity. We have higher levels of humidity here at the coastline, especially with onshore winds blowing, humid, blowing that moisture into the coastline. When you get to the inland portions, that heat, in this, heat index really drives up, so you could have 99 degrees with a heat index of 110. We, you will get relief if you're on the beach. That's going to be the best place to be because the water temperatures being at 81 degrees will keep the overall ambient air temperatures along the barrier islands into about the upper 80s. So you'll get some relief there and in the water. Uh, Melissa, before the show, we were talking uh, about some ways to uh, help keep you, your family, your animals safe during this heat wave. That's correct. So, I mean, as we're getting ready to go into Memorial Day week, and a lot of people are going to be spending time outdoors, they're going to be spending time out on the water. So to make sure that they have plenty of water while they're outside, you're not out during the, the heat of the day, take breaks, be in the shade, make sure you apply uh, your, your sunscreen over and over again. A, a sunburn is inconvenient, but it can also lead to, to far worse, you know, health risks and everything. Um, and if you have to be outside for any particular reason, make sure you're wearing light clothing, lightweight clothing, um, clothing that can breathe um, and, and that it's light colored and it can help reflect some of that sun. And we were talking before the show about, uh, you know, pushing 100 degrees. And one of the earliest dates that we've actually seen 100 degrees um, in, in the southeast and so we were just kind of pulling some of those stats together. So in South Carolina, um, actually the earliest recording of 100 degrees in the Columbia area is going to be back in um, May 22nd of 1941. We hit 100 degrees. Down in the Charleston area, they actually had 100 degrees the beginning of June 1985. Um, looking kind of across the line, you know, towards the, the Charlotte area, um, even into Raleigh, you could, the earliest occurrence of 100 degrees in both of those locations happened on June 3rd, 1895. They both hit the, the 100 degree century mark. So having 100 degree weather this early in the season is not necessarily unheard of. Um, but, you know, given the fact that we were also looking at nighttime lows that may not rebound, um, that's really the, the nighttime temperatures getting down into the upper 60s is really what kind of gives everyone a break from the heat. And some of those temperatures, um, those nighttime lows don't even look like they may drop out of the mid 70s in some locations. 